everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to take a look at the new monster highest ultimate secrets fear descent line a cleo denial doll so stay tuned as we go ahead we're going to take a look at the box we're going to get everything out and i definitely want to know what you guys think all right so for this one i actually did go to my local target i'll kind of input some uh, pictures and a little clip here that i took while i was there um i wanted to see if they actually had them and they did they had quite a few actually they had all the fear descent line they actually had all the monster ball line as well um and I had this Cleo and the Monster Ball um, Laguna in my hand. Um, and then I decided, you know what? I just want this Cleo. So after looking at everything else, everyone's like, oh, we'll just wait to see him in person, yada, yada. I did, and I'm still only gonna get the Draculaura Monster Ball and the Cleo Monster Ball. Um, and of the Fearidescent line, I've seen a lot of photos now. I, I think I'm just gonna get Cleo from this line. So, that being said, $29.99 at Target. I do believe she's a Target exclusive. I'm not 100% sure on that, um, but from what I've seen and heard, <clears throat> I do think she is. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the Cleo version, of course, from the Fearidescent line, 125 plus looks. 18 parts excuse me it says 19 plus surprises but 18 parts um of course just like the other um Skultimate, uh secrets line the wave one we do have all of these um, lockers here that have to be unlocked here is the artwork artwork is fantastic on all of them i debated getting laguna i just I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Um, so just Cleo for now. But if you do want to pause and read it here, you certainly can. Um, it doesn't say a whole lot. Uh, these are, of course, water. Like you have to put them in water to reveal the color of the key and all that. Um, but anyhow, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the locker open. All right. So now I have the cover off. You can see here, just like the other line, you open it up and oh my goodness. <laughs> um, there's the interior of her locker. Treasure, yeah, treasure yourself. That's kind of cool. Of course, has all look at all this fun stuff in here. Like it's the inside of a pyramid, or inside of her sarcophagus. Um, of course, we have Cleo, looking fantastic. And then, of course, the first key is kept in this part. Instructions on what to do here, and then you can see here. This time around, the bottom one you can see through, which I think is kind of cool. And then the rest of them you do have to unlock. But yeah, very, very cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get Cleo out of this, and then we're gonna take a look at all the little secrets. Okay, so here are the instructions, of course. They tell you how to, you know, use the keys, you can get them wet and all that, and they will unlock the little compartments there. It comes with a key ring. Of course, you can put all the keys on there when it's all said and done. On the back, it does show you all the things that she comes with. Of course, they are silhouetted so that you don't know exactly what they look like. But you can see there, it comes with uh, some accessories and all that kind of fun stuff. And of course, the doll itself. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the first locker open. And these keys are pretty simple. They literally just go in there and then you turn it and it opens up. And then there's a little surprise bag inside. Ooh, this one's like stuffed full. And tear them on open. The first thing we have in this one is um, like a shawl type thing. Of course, she can wear it around her shoulders like that. Very, very cool. So it's a nice uh, faux fur with some spots and or it looks like, yeah, pyramids on it. And then on the inside is hieroglyphs. So we've got the pyramid and a mummy cat. I love that. The monster high skull wrapped up in the mummy cloth. Um, really, really cool. And I think one more thing in here, two more things, obviously. Yep, the key. So the next key is a clear gold color with glitter in it. And then we also have Cleo's uh, new top. Teeny little top there. I love that it's gonna be a, a tie uh, top. And then her skirt, and her skirt is really cool. I like her skirt. So we have like a papyrus look to it there. Really, really do like that skirt quite a bit. Um, and that is it for the first one. So with the next key, we will then open up. I'm assuming it goes to this one. I'm not sure. We will find out. I think they're all the same, honestly. Um, but I just figured since they match, we'll go ahead and use that one. Get this one out here. Put the key down. Put the locker down. This one's already half open because I accidentally tore it when I opened up the thing. First thing we have, oh, so it's just like the uh, Monster Balls purse almost. Um, so we have the All Seeing Eye with a snake handle, that is cool, uh, purse for Cleo. And then we also have, it looks like a stylus 
Yep, the stylus there. And then her, <laughs> a popsicle. Oh, that's kind of fun there. So it's a little mummy wrapped up popsicle there. So that is a fun little deal there. And I dropped the, there it is. I dropped this before I could <clears throat> get the other items out. And then the other item is, looks like lipstick. Yep, little gold lipstick there. So let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. A little gold glitter lipstick there and a little uh, cat lipstick holder. So really, really cute. Um, that one did not have a key in it. So I'm assuming then I can just use this same key for the other ones. That's unusual. I thought each bag had a key, but it's all good. Maybe that's because that was supposed to be the last one to open. <laughs> I just went based off of what it looked like. It's all good. All right. So the next one then here, let me go ahead and find the spot there, is the key ring as well as another key. So there's the key ring. It's a monster high skull shape. Another key. And then, oh, cool. We have her shoes. So her shoes are fun. Look at these shoes. I purposely did not watch any reviews because I know she's been out for a bit here and a lot of people already have her because I wanted to be surprised because I knew this was going to be the one I was going to like because I saw her face a while ago. And look at these shoes. These are so, so cool. So we got like a translucent mummy wrap uh, there and then this really cool um like a cat like a sphinx almost uh heel so i love the boots those are something really cool and then let's see here let's do the last locker all right so this should be the final one let's go ahead here and see what we have in this one so we have oh yes her cap really fun there it's got the scarab beetle and then we have <laughs> another key and then we also have i think her jewelry let me see here yes we do have her jewelry so we have this really cool black and gold necklace with a little heart there on the end and a diamond shape here at the choker portion of it. And then we have her earrings, which are these really fun kind of like papyrus fan uh, drops here. So you can see they are identical. So that is Cleo's fun stuff. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get Cleo changed over to her outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did change Cleo over and now we're going to take a really good look at her herself. She is absolutely stunning. I did go ahead and put the cap on just so we can kind of see what it looks like with it on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off because <laughs> I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like. She has a much lighter blue hair than normal because of course the iridescent, um, kind of the iridescent play on words there. So she has this beautiful, light baby blue hair um gaps yeah, just gorgeous with gold tinsel of course because we're very much used to gold tinsel and cleo's hair now it's a little wonky so i will probably boil wash it just to straighten it out a little bit more the face mold on cleo of course is the gen 3 face mold that we're very much used to the face up though oh my gosh it's done by i think his name is stone something or other i'm gonna have to i'll link to his instagram down below he did all the face ups on these but look at that how amazing is that the gold glitter on her lips gold eyeshadow bright blue and gold eyes really 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 well done um so of course this is her new outfit here she has kind of an opalescent look to her, of course, for the iridescent um, line. So she has a little bit of glitter and gold tone to her skin as well. And then coming down, of course, there's her skirt and then her legs. Um, and then, of course, I put her in these really fun shoes. You can see how translucent they are because you can see the foot through them. So beautiful, beautiful doll. Um, she does seem a little lighter, almost like the plastics that they use this time are a lighter material than the plastic used on the previous Clio. Um, I'm not really sure either that or it's just because she doesn't have a whole lot of hair because her hair is not dra I mean, drastically long. It only comes about down to her knees. Some of the other Cleos, it comes all the way down to her, like her calves almost. So maybe that's it or maybe the hair used is a lighter material. I'm not quite sure. But all in all, to me, she is a much lighter doll. Um, but oh my gosh, this is why this is the one I got. She's beautiful. <laughs> I absolutely love her. Um, and she'll be the only one I get from this lineup and that's okay. I don't need every single doll that is released. I can't keep up. And honestly, I don't have room for all of them, but I am glad I got Cleo cause 
holy smoke she's beautiful now this is what her other outfit was so it was just this cute little um kind of like a mummy wrap top with some sheer sleeves and then i don't know what this material is but all the old like taiko and old mattel aerial dolls the tails were made out of this material so whatever you guys know what it is it is what it is but it's just a pair of shorts here with uh, of course that opalescent uh, iridescent look to it and then these boots are really cool um they were uh, of course knee-high boots with some gold uh painting on them they're orange obviously but then they've spray painted the gold on there but it's got the uh, winged heels on there with the diamond embellishments course and then there's like um, hieroglyphics going around the base of the shoe so really 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 cool my only drawback with this is there's no stand otherwise Clio is absolutely perfect um, I'm gonna have to get some more Manster stands because I don't have any more stands I'm I'm all out <laughs> so that is like I said my only drawback and that in and of itself is to me not a drawback at all um, I think she's beautiful absolutely absolutely beautiful all right everyone well that's gonna do it for my review of the new fear Descent ultimate secrets monster high Clio denial doll I hope you enjoyed I absolutely love her I will link to her target uh, page down below in case you guys are wanting to add her to your collection um i know some targets have gotten them some haven't uh and so yeah that, and honestly so far target is the only place um that i've seen her at and i did see i think it was the designer actually stated that she's pretty sure she is a line exclusive uh to target so um i will link that down below hopefully you guys grab her if you haven't already definitely let me know if you have any questions about her or any other item i've shown on my channel i'd love to chat with you guys and and see what you all think and yeah stay tuned um not sure what's coming yet as i kind of like hit a brick wall creatively <laughs> Uh, but I'll get there. Um, so just stay tuned, guys. I know there's I've got more stuff. I just got to figure out how it is and what it is I want to do. So make sure the subscription button as well as notification bell. That way you don't miss out when I do. All right. Well, again, hope everyone enjoyed. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day. And we will see you real soon.